Hey beauties, all right, we're back. As you guys know, we took a hiatus, moved into the new house, we're back. So I am on my late game now, trying to catch up. So the, this is the Ipsy versus Ipsy standard bag for the month of January, even though it is mid-February. So with that, if you guys are new, welcome. What Ipsy versus Ipsy is, is my mother has a standard and a uh, glam bag plus subscription. So do I. So each month I take the two bags, I open them up together, I compare whose I like better, hers or mine. I pick out my favorite bag total and then I pick out my five favorite products from the 10 that we received combined. Um, I did do the Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus for January. Um, that was kind of a mess because I, my mom added a whole bunch of add-ons and I had no idea what she got in her bag and what she added on. So I was just guessing and then it just derailed quickly from there. So this one should be a little easier to manage because it should, there, sh there shouldn't be any add-ons in it. So um, I pretty much always start with my mother's uh, and we're, we're just gonna, we, we're gonna do it. Why not? Oh, oh, cute. So the plus bag I said looked like a little like workout bag. This looks like a little like waterproof workout bag that you keep inside your workout bag. Like and put like stuff that you didn't wanna get wet or sweaty or whatever. Um, so yeah, really cute. I really like this material and I like the design of this a lot. More than I like the plus if I'm being honest, so. Yes, yeah, so the first thing she got is this is um, like a little, it looks like a little uh, concealer brush, like a little flat kind of concealer application brush from, uh, I can never pronounce the name, but I always wanna call it like Slim Miss Glam, Glam, Slim Miss Glam. But I love, I love these brushes. Um, I love the, the handles are always precious, but some of my favorite brushes have come from this. So I typically choose the, these brushes if I see them in there. Um, I don't remember if I chose for January and uh, if I did, I don't remember what it was. So I like this product personally, big one for me. Um, she also got an Elizabeth Mott Ultra Moisturizing Shea Hand Cream. Um, it's in the scent. Looks like it's in the scent full bloom, I'm assuming. I didn't want to pop the seal because I hate doing that with my mom's stuff, but it smelled nice from what I could smell, kind of like florally, you know, full bloom. Uh, small sample, and um, personally, I hate getting hand creams. Just don't like it at all. So that's a waste of a product for me. Not necessarily a bad thing, just not something that I would ever want to choose or be given, so not the best. Um, just the kind of like the initial response I'm getting from seeing all of her stuff is kind of like, that's just the vibe I have of it. She also got a Moroccan Magic Argan Essential Oil Lip Balm. Not a great product, just for the sheer fact that it's kind of like boring. However, oh, it's also in the scent Peppermint, which I like. Uh, I desperately need lip, lip, lip balms in this time period, like in January. It, it, it's necessary, so I think it's a decent product. It sounds like a decent prog product. I like argan oil a lot for its like nutritional purposes in terms of like skincare and stuff like that. It's not a bad product, it's just kind of boring. Overall, the initial impression I'm getting just looking at her stuff is just is not like a great bag for her because it's very generic. Um, the next thing she has is another lip product. This is a Mattis Hell Crayon Lipstick. In, from, it looks like Sugar Cosmetics, and it is in the shade Stephanie Plum. I personally really like it. I'm a huge fan of lip crayons. She will never wear this color, I can tell you. That color is gonna do absolutely nothing for her. So it's just not really a great bag for her. Kind of um, the last thing she has is a, I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna say this right. Maki, an acai prickly pear goji superberry hydrate and glow oil from Youth to the People. Small sample, but skincare oils and stuff like that always are nice products to get. Um, honestly, I think this and maybe the brush are the only two things she's really gonna like from this. So overall, her bag is not the biggest winner, in my opinion. Um, very underwhelming for a start to the year. Um, I, don't, I don't remember anything about my bag, so I'm kind of hoping it's a little bit better, but we'll see. Okay, so I also got a brush. However, mine is like a tapered, brush like I would use it for like blush or, or contour I don't really need brushes like this like I have like this cute little Lisa Frank one that just kind of sits here on me it's like the same type of vibe but once again I love the brand um, so if I can find a use for it I will and um, of course it's adorable but I actually would have preferred to get the one that she got over the one that I got what are you gonna do <laughs> that's funny uh, I got the same one I got the same lip crayon I like it it works for me, but she will not like it at all. I, I like it though. So I also got something from Youth to the People. It is a kombucha and 11% AHA exfoliating power toner. Oh, I chose this. 
That's right, I remember they had a lot of good products that I could choose from. I said, I wanna try the kombucha toner. I got the kombucha toner, now I can try it. Com kombucha? I, I don't know. If I say it wrong, you guys will correct me, you always do. So, okay, yes, but I, I chose that and I'm excited to test that out. I'm really, I, I'm pretty jazzed about that. I also have, it looks like a little mini eyeshadow color from Ditto, the uh, Galaxy Shade Collection. So I bought their like Galaxy palette. I'm wondering if the shade is in it, but I can't find what shade it is. It doesn't say on here, it just says Galaxy Shade. Maybe that's it, it's just a galaxy shade. But it's really pretty, very neutral, super workable, super usable, uh, like nice little kind of like a peachy, champagne-y glitter shade. Love it, big fan. Um, and then my fin final thing is a Thirst No More moisturizer in a really nice size. Okay, so hands down, my bag is the winner. The only thing my mom got that I would prefer would be probably her brush to my brush. So this is to see them together. Hers is this one, this is mine. I would use this one more likely, so I would choose this one over this one. Other than that, I would absolutely, I mean, we both got this, so I guess that counts for both bags. Um, but I would I would choose every. I would choose everything that I got over that. I'm not really a big fan of like the hand cream or the lip balm that she got or anything like that, so yeah. Once again, just kind of like a boring start to the year. Not a bad thing, um, it's not a bad, box by any means. I think it's worth my $12. It just wasn't the best. So what are you going to do? All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you guys got. If you guys got your February already, ours is coming. I don't know when, but uh, let me know what you guys felt about that as well. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay really with the dark twist.